Today I'm going to share with you some cool text effects in Adobe Spark Post to improve your social media graphics. So stick around. Hey everybody, what's going on? Claudio here and welcome to my channel where I share tips, tools and tricks to help you share your story. As I mentioned at the beginning today, I'm going to walk you through some really cool updates that have been made available on Adobe Spark Post on the web to make your job easier to improve the look of your social media graphics, really create some cool looking text effects. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, so I've launched spark.adobe.com here and I'm going to click on the blue plus sign here to start a graphic. I'm gonna choose the custom size graphic. I'm going to go ahead and just go with the Instagram size there. You could again, resize it afterwards if you want. I'm going to click here and choose an image. I'm going to upload this really cool picture I took many years ago. Uh, this graffiti wall, it has since been taken down. So I believe it's that one there. Yes, so we're gonna go ahead and choose that one here. I'm gonna let it fill it as a background to this graphic. All right, so I've got the image here. And as you can see, there's some new improved look to the menus in Adobe Spark Post on the web. So whenever you click on a certain uh, asset on your project, you'll see that the menu changes. So here I can replace the image. Um, you can move freely if I want to. And right now, you know, move it around here. And uh, I wanna show you this really cool effect here. And it is right here, this blur effect. And what I can do is actually blur that kind of image there. So if I want to blur that background, so kind of make the focus like the text, which I'll do here in a second. So again, you can blur it out. So Really cool way to create some backgrounds if you want to do that with your graphics. So I'm gonna go ahead and blur it about that much there. And so now what I'll do is I'll add some text here. And again, you can choose from templates there, but I'm going to go ahead and create my own. Since I'm in the mode of that art wall, I'm going to do this, choose the art side. A little, a little twist on the uh, Star Wars, uh, choose the dark side, choose the art side. All right, so here I have this text. And one of the cool things, again, as I mentioned, the new improved menu options in Adobe Spark Post. So here on the menu, you can see it says text. And you can see that there's two colors because I have kind of a background shape here. Now, this right here is the option for you to choose the shape you want to use. So I'm going to go ahead and click here, show you this really cool uh, what, what we're going to do here with this art piece. So here we have choose the art side and I've got this uh, square kind of as a background. We're going to do something really neat here. And that is to mask the text. So as you can see here, there's an option here to mask the text. But before I do that, I'm actually going to jump up here and change the font. I like this is my brand font here. And we'll do a little bit more with the font here. Let's go ahead and capitalize and fit because I like the way this looks. We'll kind of make this a little bit larger, almost filling the whole screen here. You were like, hey, what happened to the image there? Well, that's that's OK. We're going to do something with that. And then right here, the spacing, which you can do with the with the line spacing, you could do that there. Letter spacing, spread that out and do that there. And just adjust it a little bit. There we go. And let's see here with the, the shape, we're going to max that up. Now it's okay if we can't see it all covered completely. I'm gonna do something here in a second. We're going to increase the size of the font. So right here, you can actually type it in now, which is really cool. Let's go with 200 and keep with that. There we go. Maybe let's try 220, perfect. And then we'll do some adjustments with the letter spacing here, bring it in a bit, maybe do a little more line. Um, and if you want to go further, make this even more. Yeah, let's go with that. And let's do letter spacing, bring that in. All right, cool. So now I'll go ahead and click on the text. And now we'll do this mask text and click there and boom. So now you can see through and see that blurred kind of uh, photo that I had in the background and what it could do actually is move this out of the way and maybe make it less blurry. And what I could do here is make some enhancements to that photo. 
So if you can see here, what I did is let's improve, let's increase contrast here and maybe the saturation, bring down the brightness a bit. Now there's a reason I'm doing that is because I want the image in the background to kind of be dark enough so I can read the text. That looks pretty good there. For now, let's click back on this here, kind of center it there, close enough. And because that yellow, I kind of don't like the way that looks. So what I'll do here is click up on the effects color. And this is really neat, the way they changed the color options now, the color palette, I should say the menu. Uh, these are my brand colors here, so I can go through and choose like my own brand colors here. Um, that looks pretty cool right there. Or if I want to, I can go down here and you still have all the colors to choose from. You go with white there. And then you can go custom. So if you know your hex color code, if you have your own brand, you can always copy paste it in here or type it in. So that looks pretty cool. Choose the art side right here. Now, another thing you can do with this text is animate it. So you can kind of give a really cool text effect to this uh, mask text here. So let's go to animation. And there's different things that you can do here. You can animate the text or you can animate the photo. You can't do both at the same time. So let's see what the typewriter kind of looks like. That's really cool. So as you can, in essence, what's, what's happening. So let me show you, you know, the background is right there. So let's go back to animations. So you can kind of see. So there's the text right there. So you can see nothing is happening to the photo. It's really just manipulating the text. So let's go ahead and drop that back to the front. So it's kind of showing you the magician's secret, you know, revealing the secret here to this magic. So let's go ahead and go back to animation. We're here. Um, let's go with see what happens with flicker. That's really cool as well. Uh, color shuffle. Again, it's going to go based on your colors that you have set up. I'm going to go with the typewriter and let's see what we can do with the photo animation. So if I click on zoom here, really cool way that it's animating that tech, zooming away and zooming in, you do kind of a panning, really cool way to create some text effects for your graphics on social media. I'm actually liking this pan animation. I think I'm going to stick with this one here. So the next thing I'll do here is I want to share this on social media again is to click on download. And you have the option to choose the MP4, PNG, JPEG, or a PDF. So because I want to share this on social media and kind of want people to kind of uh, be attracted to this, so I'm going to create an MP4 here. Click download, and basically uh, it exports it for you, compresses it perfectly for social media. And there's another way for you to share your story on social media using these great text effects in Adobe Spark post on the web. If you have any comments or questions about this video, please do let me know by adding it in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and then click on the bell to be notified for future videos. Also, please do share this video with your friends. Thank you for stopping by, and as always, be good to one another. Peace. I'm out.